What's up, Gamecocks? My name is Elsie Ritchie, and we are here on another episode of Cocky TV. This week, we are going to be talking to you a little bit about our 2018 Homecoming Week. There aren't a lot of words to explain exactly what goes on throughout the week, so we sent out our correspondents, Juliana, Alva, Jack, and of course, the Cocky TV crew, to give you a little insight as to what actually goes on on campus. Our week began by finding out who our 2018 Homecoming King and Homecoming Queen would be. The title of Homecoming King was awarded to Stone Alexander. The title of Queen was awarded to Madison Burrell. Juliana and Jack were able to interview each of the candidates and talk about their philanthropic events. The 2018 Homecoming Queen, Madison Burrell. How are you feeling? How does it feel to be JSU's 2018 Homecoming Queen? It is so overwhelming, humbling, overjoyed. That's how I feel right now. That's awesome. So, my second question for you is, what is your philanthropic platform? Explain that for us real quick. Okay. So, my platform is something that I came up with on my own. It's um, Know Your Worth. And it's just basically, it talks about self-confidence, self-worth, and self-esteem, because 85% of the world struggles with that, and I hope to make a ripple effect that helps the whole world, and just starts here and ripples out. That's okay. awesome. So what is the, what's the event that you're planning for the next year? I hope to have a Puppies on the Quad, because dogs love you no matter what, and I feel like that it's just really important to have something that's, that can love you no matter what, because that's how we should feel anyways. And my very last question for you is, what does JSU mean to you? What does this whole school, this whole organization, everything mean to you? JSU means everything to me. I've grown up in Jacksonville, Alabama my whole life. Um, I, I've lived here for 20 years, never have moved anywhere. And then going to JSU, it's just an awesome um, experience. I love everyone here. Um, it's just such a great school, and I'm so thankful to be here. And I'm so thankful to be crowned Miss uh, the Homecoming Queen for 2018. That's awesome. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We're here with JSU's homecoming king, Stone Alexander. How excited are you to be crowned king? Oh, I'm super excited. I, I really wasn't sure what was going to happen, but it's honestly such a privilege to represent this university. Uh, this, this university is my home, and I couldn't be more proud to have this position. And congratulations, we're so happy for you. Can you tell me a little bit about your philanthropic platform? Yeah, my, my uh, philanthropy was the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, it's a health organization that basically provides resources for those that are struggling with suicidal thoughts and to those um, families and friends that have lost loved ones to suicide. They offer counseling, um, they, they take people to the doctors, all kinds of things like that, uh, and that's basically what the philanthropy is. Very nice. And what event do you plan to host to benefit your platform? Well, my philanthropy, they host these out of the darkness walks. I've uh, attended a few of them in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, but basically what you do is you, it's a silent walk. Um, there's usually shoes of survivors and shoes that have, you know, the, those that have, you know, died by suicide. And I'm basically planning on bringing in vendors, some food, have a band, and basically raise awareness and money for suicide prevention. That's super, super awesome. And our last question for you is what does JSU mean to you? What does JSU mean to me? JSU means home, especially uh, I came here loving this university. And even after the tornado, this, the, the way that it's rebuilt and the way that we have you know, continued to progress is absolutely just means uh, the world to me. I love this place. I don't live too far away, but this is my home. Students received a sweet treat from our president at the ice cream social. Administrators passed out candy, ice cream, and t-shirts. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a free t-shirt? Alva checked in with our president to find out what his favorite thing about JSU Homecoming Week is. We are here on the ice cream social with President Biller. So President, what's your favorite ice cream? Well, I got chocolate ice cream with uh, cookies and cream and a little coconut on it. I mean, how can you lose, right? It's almost like German chocolate, which is you know one of my big favorites, yeah. And what's your favorite part of JSU Homecoming? 
Well, I think the, the, the coolest part of JSU Homecoming is that you know, we get to have the Homecoming King and Queen and all the festivities and the Alumni of the Year awards. So it's just a festive thing at JSU because uh, we do so many things at Homecoming and so many alumni come back and really get involved. So, but you know, we have a great experience here at JSU for just any football game. I mean, we have the Marching Southerners, the greatest marching band in the universe. And uh, we have a great football team with a lot of talent. We're real deep this year, so we should go real deep into the playoffs. And uh, I'm hoping for that national championship. That's what I'm looking for. Frisco in January, let's go. You're still eating ice cream? Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. I cannot stop eating it, Desi. Oh my goodness. Well, tell me a little bit about your interview with the president. It was so good. I was like really nervous, but yeah. it was awesome to know more things about him and how he, how he likes homecoming. And I guess if I'm still eating ice cream as him, I will be the same successful. So. Well, let me tell you, if there's anybody that's going to be successful <laughs> by eating ice cream, I, I think it might be you. Yeah, really. Be me. But um, we're kind of we're kind of doing like a professional oh. show here. Are you, so. are you filming? Yeah, we're filming right now. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yeah, you might want to, yeah, just okay, take it over I'm there. going to finish my ice cream, yeah. Yeah, save, me some, for, save me some for later. Okay, okay. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. During the week, JSU got to experience a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Our alumnus and Board of Trustees member, Randy Owen, and his band, Alabama, organized an event, the JSU Benefit Concert. There were over 16,000 people that attended the event, and we raised over $1.2 million in disaster relief funds. We want to thank those of you that have helped us thus far, and we are excited to start the process of rebuilding the Jacksonville we know and love. One of the coolest events that happened this week was the National Panhellenic Council Step Show. Fraternities and sororities performed stepping and theatrical stunts to show their support of their organizations. We are here with Tia Pendleton, who is the president of our MPHC and NAACP organizations. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? I am doing well. So why don't you elaborate a little bit more as to what goes into the MPHC Step Show? A lot. Each organization has to put on a show mm -hmm. with a theme that we provide. They okay. spend months, even almost the whole year, just to get the best show possible for the students. Now, is it designated dances? Um, I know, Step, there's a lot that goes into the actual performance. What, what does it mean to actually step? I know I don't really know much about it, but like the idea of stepping and dancing, so um, what all? <laughs> it's very intricate. Honestly, um, it sounds like you're just keeping a beat or paying attention to a rhythm, mm -hmm. but when it comes to putting on a show, it's anything and everything. It's to showcase your talent. So yeah. acting, dancing, stepping, jumping, anything. With this event, um, I know it's a fundraising event. Each year you pick out a specific fundraiser. Um, can you elaborate a little bit more on that as well, like what fundraiser you did, uh, possibly how much you raised, a little bit more details on that. Well, um, few know this, but the MPHC uses the Step Show as their biggest fundraiser. Really? So with that being said, we usually raise somewhere in between two and $5,000 wow. just with the show alone. And with that, um, we usually take a few meetings later and decide where that money is gonna go. Now, do you have a lot of um, local dance communities that come out and participate as well? Or I know you had mentioned something about, you know, a Gadsden dance team. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that too? Yes, um, we actually get a lot of people that are interested in being in the show, and this year we had a dance group in Gaston with girls from ages 6 to 13, wow. and they were all just ready and willing to dance and show their skills. That is really awesome. Well, it's so neat to learn a little bit more about this event, because not a lot of people know about it. And promoting it as well and so thank you so much to you for coming and speaking with us we're excited to see what y'all have planned for next year what is really the best thing about tailgates obviously the food juliana and jack checked out our alumni and student tailgates to see who really has the best tailgate food let's go check it out hey gamecocks we're at the 2018 homecoming tailgate and today we're gonna have a little friendly Gamecock competition between the alumni tailgate and the student tailgate to see who has the best tailgate food. So we're gonna go around and taste test each one. So let's go. We were at the Robinson family and they have chicken and, and ribs. ribs. I mean, they've got it all right here. So we're about to taste their food and see how it is.
No, that's a good rib right there. That's some good chicken. I've had some ribs in my time, and that's a good rib. I eat chicken every day, mm. and that is good chicken. All right, I like it. I like it. I reckon I'll try a little bit, just a little Which bite. Which one? Which mm, one? I'm going to try the catfish. Catfish. I'm a pretty harsh critic, so. Oh, I, I can take it. I'll be I honest know with you. When you put I'll it be... in your mouth, you're going to go, ooh. Mm, okay. And you ain't going to be able to say nothing else. All and right. I'm going to get a chance to say he's enjoying this Coosa <laughs> River fish. You want filet in a hole? Uh, filet, please. Mm -hmm. Big or small? Small, See very there? small. Oh, small, you small. don't know nothing oh, about that's eating it fish right there. then, do you? No, I've been eating all day. Oh, so you got to go everywhere? I have to go okay. everywhere. So since you you got so far all right. to go. All right. All right. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell yeah. you what's up. Yeah. Are you ready? It's, it's ready. Is thing all all right. Right. You, I know it's ready. Me? Are y'all through? Now, you didn't want it in the interview. Don't come over mm. here and not taking my fame and fortune. That's good. <laughs> that's some good fish. I know it is. Didn't I tell you? Uh, you did tell me. That's yes. some good fish. And we, it's seasoned with love. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. I know that's going on. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Such a pleasure, such a yes. pleasure. Yes, yes. Winner, easy. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. But for real, like actually the winners. This is so good. They're delicious. Grandmommy, you did great. I'm gonna have to come back. This chicken's delicious. It's great. This is amazing. Mommy's chicken. Mommy's yeah. chicken's delicious. Mommy knows how to cook. Y'all all know how to cook. This is delicious. <laughs> that cheese dip is delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very, very, very good. I'm giving it a 10. Mm -mm. I'm doing the 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. I swear, it's the only one I've done so far. Thank you to the Mason family for letting us come taste their tailgate food. It was amazing. It was easily the winner, definitely the best. Uh, thank y'all so much. Go Gamecocks! Go Gamecocks! Hey Gamecocks, now we're at the 2018 Homecoming Student Tailgate. And now we're about to do the same thing that we did the alumni tailgate, and we're going to each tailgate and try everyone's food, so let's go. We're at the ROTC tailgate and they have the original hamburgers and hot dogs, so we're about to try. Keep it pure. One eternity later. It's probably good then if I can't tell. Alright. Here, we can stop that. Alright, perfect, perfect. Mushroom is surprisingly really good. Oh wow, okay. Better than I thought. <laughs> uh, actually, it really is. It's really, really, really good. Cool. Listen, <laughs> We're here with the International Student Organization tailgate. All right, so what we're going to do is he's going to tell us which wing is which, and we're going to try and see which one's the best. All right, my man, so I'm the president. we got some really good wings here. So right here, you've got your barbecue. This is going to be your honey barbecue. This is going to be your mom. This is going to be your honey barbecue. This is going to be your mom. And then this is going to be your spicy. All right. Okay. That's delicious. You like it? So hey, good. Delicious. make these? No, no, we uh, ordered them from a restaurant and they made them for us. Hey, yeah, absolutely. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, They're delicious. so good, though. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Cocky TV. We hope you enjoyed it. I know we did. We are so, so full from all the delicious food we had today. So we're about to take a break and go in and watch the game. Our JSU baseball team celebrated the highly anticipated opening of Rudy Abbott Field at Jim K Stadium. The Gamecocks held an exhibition match against the Mississippi State Bulldogs that was free to fans. We wish them nothing but the best of luck this coming season and we're ready to see them dominate. So now we're going to talk to you about the United Nations Day tea that happened on this Sunday. Uh, why don't you all go ahead and introduce yourself and then we'll talk a little bit about the event. Okay, uh, I'm Shota Suzuki from Japan. I'm Zamano Mendez from Guatemala. Now, what can students see at the United Nations Day Tea event? 
Okay, um, we have students from different countries. Uh, for example, at the UN Deity, we had German dance, uh, samurai show, Chinese dance, Nepali dance, a lot of shows you a can think of. Shows. I like that. That's really cool. A lot of performances, nice. dancing. So now, what would be your favorite memory at the event? My favorite memory will be dancing close to the president. Because... <laughs> Yeah. It, I was saw he getting it? it? Yeah, it yeah. was getting it. So it was pretty a good experience. Now, did did you all fight? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. yeah, it looks yeah. like y'all came to fight. Yeah. Actually, Who I can't prepare today, too. Oh, my gosh. Y'all right? Who do you think is going to win? Yes! Oh. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> well, we have seen it all this homecoming week at Jacksonville State University. Be sure to check back with us next time. Go Gamecocks.